All right, welcome to this week's edition of Coach Gaines and his book reviews or book digital book reports. Maybe that's what I'll call them. Since when I was in high school, we actually had to write uh, book reports on paper. Uh, so I am now doing digital book reports. I never thought I would say that. Today's book of choice is by one of my favorite authors on the planet, Mr. John Grisham. And it is the fifth book he ever wrote in his uh, series. And it's called The Chamber. And I shouldn't say series. His books are not series. They're all different. They're all, uh, they are all legal thrillers for the most part. So uh, today I'm going to enlighten you on perhaps one of my favorite books of his. Uh, and it is a book called The Chamber. It was written and uh, published in 1994. It, uh, actually became a movie as several of his books did in 1996. And if you recall, uh, last time I was talking about when I read a book and there's characters, I try to picture who would play these particular characters. And sometimes I'm very disappointed in the movie because the character or the actor doesn't fit the way my view of that character worked. Well, I'm here to tell you in this particular instance, uh, the two main characters uh, that I'll get to in a moment, the actors that played them fit the part perfectly. Couldn't have been any better. The only problem with the movie versus the book is that the movie leaves out about the first five chapters, which is kind of setting up the characters. Um, so you don't know a lot of the backstory. You learn some of the backstory throughout the movie, but it, you learn it in a different way. And, and in my opinion, you don't learn it quite as in depth as the book goes. Um, so you can go to John Grisham's website and as it says here, America's favorite storyteller. And I, I believe me when I tell you, I believe that John Grisham is one of the best authors on the planet. Uh, so I'm going to, it's been a long time since I read the book. So I kind of had to go back and freshen up on some names and, and characters and so forth. But the, the gist of the book is that uh, it's set in Mississippi and uh, there is a Jewish lawyer that is uh, killed in a bombing that is done by three. Uh, what we we find out as the book goes on by three potential uh, neo-Nazi white uh, white supremacists. And one of those is a guy named Sam Cahall, who is played by Gene Hackman in the movie. And uh, which I thought was brilliant because Gene Hackman is a brilliant actor, but he pulls this role off phenomenally, which he pulled a lot of his roles off phenomenally. Uh, so he is on death row facing uh, the death penalty for what he did. And lo and behold, a 26-year-old Adam Hall, who is a lawyer working in uh, one of Chicago's top law firms, uh, but also working on anti-death penalty cases, takes on this case because as we come to find out throughout the book, he is Sam Cahall's grandson. See, his name's Adam Hall, Sam Cahall. He took the K out so nobody knew who he was. Uh, and early in the book, Sam doesn't know uh, everything. So, and he is really trying to get Sam off of death, the death penalty uh, because it's about the only remaining family he has left uh, to tie to his legacy and learn about his family. Uh, and one of the things that we don't know or, or we know as the reader, as we read the book, but Sam and Adam don't know is one of the other guys is already gone. He's dead. But the third one that the police never found is living right down the road from death row, following the case in the media. And he's changed his name and nobody knows he exists. And he's following Adam around, which adds this level of uh, intrigue to the book. So I don't want to give you all the details because it, it it's worth the read, but, uh, and you may be familiar as teenagers, you may be familiar with John Grisham because of his Theodore Boone books, which is a teen lawyer. Um, but I highly suggest John Grisham. His first book was A Time to Kill. Uh, then, if I remember correctly, he had The Client and The Pelican Brief. Uh, and he's got 17 or 18 books by now. He's got a new one coming out on the 20, 28th, which I can't wait for. Uh, John Grisham also has a Netflix documentary. He did one nonfiction book in his life uh, and it's called The Innocent Man. Uh, it's got a Netflix documentary. It's rather interesting. So that is your book, your digital book report for this week. Uh, you do not have to worry about going to get his books in order. If you just got the chamber today and started reading it and then you went and got 
a time to kill next and they're you know they're out of order as far as how uh, when they were published you it wouldn't matter because the characters are totally separate of each other the stories are separate the storylines are, are uh, separate of each other uh, so i recommend you read the book the chamber by john grisham published 1994 movie 1996 that is coach Gaines' digital book report for the week have a good one